Abdelak, um, professor in the Institut Pasteur de Tunis. Could you please uh, present yourself and your project uh, Genomica, uh, un projet ERA-wide, nous expliquer ses principaux impacts ainsi que uh, les principaux bénéficiaires. Okay, I'm Sonia Abdelak, I'm a human geneticist and uh, I'm currently leading the research laboratory on biomedical genomics and uh, oncogenetics. So I work in Institut Pasteur in Tunis and uh, currently coordinating an ERA-wide project called Genomedica, uh, Genomedica for genomic medicines and international cooperation and also investigation of non-communicable diseases. Uh, non-communicable diseases, we mean uh, cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases, all the new diseases which are becoming more and more frequent in the, in the region because of um, what is called um, the epidemiological transition. Uh, that means that the people have changed the way of eating, the way of living, and uh, their behavior in terms of uh, sedentarity. So what we try to do uh, in this project is try to uh, raise awareness um, among uh, various uh, stakeholders uh, about these non-communicable diseases because uh, our institute is very famous for infectious diseases. He has several projects on, on these issues. Uh, the other aim is to introduce new tools for investigating these diseases and we use uh, uh, what is said genomics. Uh, all these new technologies, high throughput technologies for uh, sequencing and genotyping individuals and try to find uh, for what reason, what is the genetic susceptibility to cancer or to genetic diseases or to diabetes. So uh, the major impact of the project is on the way we are doing our research activity, try to structure it, try to do it better and try to better use the available resources. Uh, and uh, the beneficiaries, the principal beneficiaries, are uh, PhD students at their last years of PhD studies or uh, postdocs. Uh, actually, my major concern uh, in the beginning of the project was that several young uh, people, which are uh, being graduated in, uh, in our laboratory and obtaining their thesis, um, they, they don't have jobs. So try to increase their, uh, the job opportunities, try to um, give them the opportunity to have uh, uh, better job opportunities uh, by giving them some skills, some skills which are lacking, either professional skills in the field of genomic medicine or uh, some other soft skills uh, like uh, setting up projects and building up uh, projects. Thank you.